So you might be wondering, what in the world does Forgive STL or Operation STL, how is it going to even help the community? Is this just like these people coming and putting on the show and then that's it? No, that's not it at all. I will tell you, we are going to help the community in many ways. At our last event in September 17th at Wake Up STL, we gave away the $5,000 in raffles over a four hour period throughout the event. Um, and honestly, I have a testimonial from one of the, the person who won the thousand dollars and she was just so blessed by the, the cash grand prize that she got. And there was several testimonies of people. One, one woman said that she was telling somebody like she, she wasn't even sure how she was going to get groceries. <laughs> and then she ended up getting a hundred dollar gift card, you know, which all the gift cards were just visa cards. So people could spend them wherever they wanted. Um, you know, but I didn't want to give out $5,000 in cash. I just didn't think that'd be wise. So the other thing that we were able to do was, um, keep the people engaged with those raffle tickets and people were hearing, uh, testimonies and, and different things throughout the event and people's hearts were being transformed. You know, there was at the end of the event, uh, one of the hip hop artists did like an altar call to call people to faith in, in Jesus Christ. And there was about 30 people who went forward. But in the meantime, even through uh, our vendors, that was another reason it was good to have the raffles. Um, people were visiting the vendors, which we had multiple vendors set up that were focused on just crime prevention, you know, violence prevention. Uh, there was gun locks given out. They gave out 50 gun locks. Um, which this year we're just going to bring more uh, gun locks to give out because gun locks are uh, huge uh, in, in preventing kids from accidentally shooting themselves, which that death rate is, is it's just crazy. There shouldn't be one, right? Um, and then there's also, uh, there was the prayer tents that we had set up. There was over 100 people came into the prayer tents to receive prayer, and many people was just... Uh, really touched being delivered from different things in their lives and uh, we also had another table set up where people were able to sign up for continuous prayer and there were 78 people who signed up for that um, so you know we're, we're making some some headway in the in the community and also you know in that area there was multiple shootings up until the event but uh, since the event there's still to this day, hasn't been a killing in that area, and all glory goes to God for that. So, just wanted to let you know how we're helping the community out and how we're going to continue to bless the community. Um, I know in this Forgive STL, we actually are adding to the raffles and doing the student award ceremony. We're going to give the students a $250 gift card and an award uh, to, to promote hope in the community and, and to show people like, hey, there's a reward for doing the right thing and uh, just kind of promote that behavior. And also it'll draw out more people in the community, more family members will get to be there and people will just get to continue to hear the positive message that we're preaching. And, uh, you know, I mean, we're preaching the gospel. It's not just about being positive, but it also is no matter what, like, uh, if people are, are in church and committed to Christ, they aren't committing crimes. You would hope, you know, the, the ones that are, are, are usually the ones preaching, but they're not being violent at least. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's, sorry about that, but, but there's good coming from this and hope and God's moving and things are happening and God is blessing this movement and and we're going to continue to do it because we love people we want to see them we want to see our city turn around we want to see our city the the violence and and the and the crime to continue to to go down like it has been and we want to see St. Louis um get off of the list that it's on for being one of the worst cities in the United States so, and we're going to keep pushing till that, uh, till, till we're not on that list at all. Amen.